Hello everyone, it's Robin here and it's a gorgeous day in May here in the Midwest. Well, we are well back from our trip from Walt Disney World. We had a great time. I put up a few blogs, uh, talked about the pin trading event, and um, we came back to, I checked my P.O. box, which I just recently started, and I had some magic mail in there. So I'm super excited to share that with you, along with some of the monthly release pins. So I do have my Cheshire Cat ears on, because when I did check the box, I have my monthly release pins, but Look at what was inside of my P.O. box. I'm curiouser and curiouser as what this could be. <laughs> so um, I do also have a postcard here from my friend Karen. And um, here's some monthly releases. I'm gonna set them aside because I really wanna get to the postcard first. This was in my P.O. box and of course this box here. So um, Karen is a longtime viewer on my channel and I do appreciate your comments always, Karen. Thank you so much. And I'm not sure if your name's pronounced Karen or Kareen. And I say that because of how you spell your name. Either way, it's absolutely beautiful. But she sent me this, par this card from Singapore. That's super cool. So I do, like I said, I have a P.O. box. Please don't feel like you have to send me anything. But if you ever wanna drop me a line or a card or if you're in the Disney parks and wanna send me a postcard from there, I would love to hear from you. So um, this card again comes all the way from Singapore and it says, Dear Robin, it's me, Karen, your Disney friend on YouTube. My husband and I enjoy watching your Disney videos and uh, we hope that we that you can check out my YouTube channel. That's right, she has a YouTube channel. Her last name is Lilac, I think it's Karen Lilac. I will link that down below for you in case you wanna go check it out. I'm so excited about my Shanghai Disney trip with my husband on May 1 through 7. I'm getting this a bit late. Um, we checked, I, I checked my P.O. box when we came back from Walt Disney World. So um, it might have been sitting in there for a week before I could get to it. Um, by the time you receive this postcard, we will probably be in Shanghai. I think you're probably home by now. Um, stay in touch and sending all my love, Karen. I hope you had an amazing time in Shanghai Disney. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun to go there. Next, I'm gonna get into this fun package here that has me ever curiouser and curiouser. I love the sides of it. Look at the Tsum Tsums, Pluto and Mickey. We've got a Minnie and Daisy Duck and, um, book Figaro that might be a hint right this is coming from my good friend Nina from wrestling with Disney and if you haven't checked out her channel you definitely need to go check her out Nina's a lot of fun and has I've been friends with her for a long time haven't had the chance to meet her in person yet so this box was also in there I had no idea it was coming I have no idea what's in it and I was thinking did I make a trade Nina <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't think so. I think she just uh, sent me something because she's kind of fun that way. And let's see what we have in here. <gasps> What's all this fun stuff? Oh, there's a card. It says a whole new world and it's Aladdin and Jasmine. And it says, Dear Robin, your YouTube channel brings so much joy and fun that I wanted to send some your way. I had fun picking random items and characters for you. Your videos are so thoughtfully put together. Purchasing items and creating themes, filming and editing. Thanks for making us smile. Your friend Nina wrestling with Disney. Nina, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. And there are a fun things in this box. That is for sure. So what do we have here? It is a... Oh, this is one. So Nina is a Scentsy dealer and she sent me one of her Scentsy deals, but it's Minnie Mouse. Check it out. I think they have a new line of um, Disney items. So what is this? Do you, does it smell like something? I'm gonna open it because we just need to open it and check it out. It looks like it's a, um, you know, like a, a good scent thing that you hang somewhere. <laughs> See, I can, I can speak, right? Oh, this is cute. Ooh, that smells delicious. So it says, Love and Kisses Mini, and it smells delicious. It's a very fresh, clean scent. Almost citrusy, but I get flowery too, but um, you can hang it anywhere and make anything smell delicious, right? Which I think I'm definitely gonna do. We can always use some great scents in the house. That is for sure. Thank you so much. What is this? So sparkling, mermo, mer, I can't speak, right? Sparkling mimosa flavored gourmet gummies. Wow, 
I found, do you like gummies? I love gummies. So I'm going to try this out. I'm just opening everything. <laughs> I'm going to try these gummies out. So they're, um, mimosa. Ooh, look at that. Now a mimosa is orange juice and champagne, right? Oh, I'm getting a little orange in there and a little orange kick. It's good. Delicious. Oh, the next is a cute Tigger magnet. I adore Tigger. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Thank you. I'm going to hang this right on my fridge. Check it out. Look at how adorable this is. Oh my gosh, I love Tigger so much. So much. And it says, the things that make me different are the things that make me me. Oh, that's such a sweet sentiment. So cute. Such a sweet sentiment. Definitely, right? We dare to be different. So what is this? I just keep pulling things out. Oh, there's a nice bag. Oh, look at that. It's Baymax with mochi. This is a nice bag. It's very floppy, burlappy, but it's really nice. And this design is super, super cute. Look at mochi. Oh my gosh, he's so funny sitting on Baymax's head. How come his claws don't break Baymax, right? If my cat sat on Baymax's head, I think he would uh, pop. Does <laughs> he sounds like he could pop, right? And it says supportive type. So that's really cool. Very cool. We have more. There's more. There's two more things in here. Let me put the box down real quick. There we go. And um, look at this. That's really cool. These are Mickey stickers on a sheet. That's awesome. Here, let me give you a close up so you can see what this is. Look at these cute Mickey stickers and they're all the same, but look at all the vintage uh, pictures they have inside. Oh my gosh, I love this. These are gonna be great for uh, my pin mails and my pin trades, right? Super cute. Thank you for this. This is super cute. And last but certainly not least, rainbows are a girl's best friend. Look. It's a notebook. Now, I love notebooks. I write all the time. I plan, I write, I get thoughts out of my head by putting it on paper. I have notebooks all over the place. And you know what? I am running out of my notebook space right now and I love this one. There's Figaro. Nina loves Figaro. Loves, loves, loves Figaro because it's like Buster, of course. I would love Figaro too because it's like Buster. Um, love Minnie Mouse too. Nina, thank you. This is very kind, very thoughtful and very generous. So go check Nina's channel out. She's really a lot of fun. She's wrestling with Disney. She does wrestling content and Disney content. And on a side note, I would like to plug something for her too. If you are a Disney YouTuber or considering starting a Disney YouTube channel, Nina started a Facebook group and this helped me out a lot in my beginning, but it's for Disney YouTubers and it is a great resource. For, um, for you if you are starting out. There's a lot of great people on there that are willing to help you out and bounce ideas off of and you know, it's just a place to go and chat with people. So I will link that down below as well. But Nina, thank you so much. Love everything. This card is beautiful. Um, the gummies are delicious. And my whole desk area smells really good right now with this cool scent. <laughs> so thank you very much. Okay, next we have some of our monthly release pins. And I'm pretty excited because, you know, I've been collecting them, certain pins each month for my collections. And this one I have here is the one that comes from Disneyland. And it's the Crests of the Kingdom pins. And I'm working on getting all of them. So this is May, and this will be my fifth one. And I'm pretty excited about this one because, oh, Look at this, because it's haunted mansion themed. Oh, oh, it's so cool. I'm loving these pins. I'm loving the backer cards for them. They're so, um, so classy. They just fit the pin perfectly. I love this kind of brushed silver. It has a pewter look to it. Um, the haunted mansion, I love, but you know what I love best about the haunted mansion? Are those hitchhiking ghosts. So what's inside of this pen? It's the Hitchhiking Ghost. Let me give you a close up view of this cool pin. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Look at the front of this pin. So see what I'm saying about this kind of brushed silver. It's very pewter-like. Um, there's a bird there. There's like a ghoul up at the top. I love the gargoyles in the Haunted Mansion. I'm obsessed with them. There's even bat wings on the sides. Oh my gosh, that's crazy cool, isn't it? But when you open this pin, we get 
my three guys, the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Oh my gosh, I love these guys so much. So this one's Gus, he's the short one. He's the prisoner, he has the ball and chain. This is Ezra, he's the tall, skinny one. He's very skeletal, he's like the skeleton ghost. But my favorite one is this guy right here with the hat, he's kind of the mid-sized one and he's carrying a carpet bag. His name's Phineas. Oh, I adore him. These pins have two pin posts. Um, there are, you know, still that, you know, darker brushed silver on the back. They're limited edition to 2000. And this one is only being released in Disneyland. Now the counterpart pins in Walt Disney World that are only released in Walt Disney World are the Magic of Honor pins. And those are the metal pins. Um, I think last month I got the uh, Expedition Everest one for Rod. That one's really cool. I'm not collecting every month of those, but this month in May, they released a Haunted Mansion one in that set as well. So super, super cool. Haunted Mansion's getting some May love for sure. Oh my gosh, such a fun pin. The next monthly release pin I have, I am super, super excited about. Number one, it's for a collection that I have. And number two, I was able to pick it up myself because we were in Walt Disney World when this little puppy was released. So it's the vintage vinyl and it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and it's the dancing scene. I love that scene so much. These pins are beautiful and it released on the Thursday, the day of pin trading night. And I was determined that I was gonna buy my own limited edition monthly release pin. And um, I was able to find it in Disney Springs during the day after we played mini golf and I'll link all those videos for you because if you missed that mini golf, you're missing a lot. We had fun. <laughs> anyway, this pin's really pretty. Let me give you a close up look of it. Look at how great this pin looks. I love the color choice they put on the background. Um, of course I love that blue and it just pulls me in and it's Snow White and she's dancing with all seven tours, which is super, super fun. That's one of my favorite parts of the whole movie. Um, you pull it out, there's the record right there. And on the record is the evil queen who's awesome. I love, love, love the evil queen. So this is really cool and I'm so happy I was able to get this pin myself. Now this pin is limited edition to 3000. It has two pin posts um, and you can see the sliding element here. Let's see, there we go. You can see the sliding element right there. Super, super cool. Pretty. Now I'm not collecting all of the vintage vinyl. I'm just collecting a few that fit in with different collections or that just kind of spark my interest quite a bit. I do love them. I think they're really cute. I am, however, collecting all of the pop-up book pins and oh my goodness, did I choose unwisely in terms of monthly releases. So um, it wasn't on the calendar to be released, although it did show us that we think it's gonna be Princess and the Frog, but it didn't release when it was supposed to, so I have no idea what's up with the pin. I think they're having problems with the factory or, you know, that pin's been having problems since January because January's pin got released in February with February. Um, I think April's pin wasn't even on there, but it did release. May wasn't on the calendar, but it, did, it didn't release. So I don't know what's happening. So I'm excited for when it finally does come out because now we're getting into June and the, the pin for the month of June. And oh my gosh, I just don't know. But I do love those pop-up book pins. And the minute I get it, I will definitely share it with you. And next I have a monthly release pin from Shop Disney. And these are the Wisdom pins. So they finally came, so I was able to get them and share them. Now these are released on the Shop Disney website. They actually released while I was in Walt Disney World and I set my alarm for like 3 a.m. because they're released at midnight Pacific time. So I set my alarm at like 3 a.m., got up on the Shop Disney app, uh, had to wait like 15 minutes and boom, ordered them, went right back to sleep. <laughs> so, you know, you gotta work it sometimes. But this is the Pocahontas set and it features Miko and Flit and the quote pen. And I think the coloring is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Let me take it out of the package so I can give you a close look at these pins. So look at how cool these pins look. Now Miko is a very decent sized pin here. Flit, he's a he's a hummingbird, so he's a tiny little pin. But I'm also I'm obsessed with these quote pins. I love it. Now this again is from Pocahontas, and Grandmother Willow offered this quote: "Sometimes the right path is not the easiest one." And oh my gosh, is that not the truth? Let me take them off the background so I can give you a close look of each pin. So here we have Miko here. Isn't he adorable? I just love the color of this pin. It's so pretty. He's just standing all there, you know, in charge like, right? <laughs> so cute. Now the backs of these pins 
um, have one pin post. Um, they're silver backing and they do state that they're from the Wisdom Collection. Super nice. Love Miko, he's so cute. The next pin is our tiny little hummingbird, Flit, and isn't he adorable? Oh my gosh, look at his hummingbird beak. I absolutely love it. He is a tiny pin. He does have quite a bit of detail in him, but it's not overpowering, and I really, really like this pin. He's really pretty. So cute. And last but certainly not least is our quote pen. I am loving these quote pens. And again, it says, sometimes the right path is not the easiest one. And isn't that again so, so true, but I love these pens so much. They're so ornate on the side, so glossy in the center, and I love the different fonts and coloring they use for the quotes. Super cool. So I've put them on my banner. They look really cool right here. Here's the quote pen, um, here's Miko, and then there's Flit. And they are taking their space up with my Dumbo pens. That was our first month. We had Mushu from Mulan the second month. Uh, then we had Jungle Book over here. Oh my gosh, that Piglet release, wasn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, I'm still upset I didn't get that Piglet plush. It was adorable, but look at how cute they are. And then of course we have Pocahontas featured down here with Miko and Flit. Now this banner is really cool and I just saw on the Shop Disney website that it is available again. So if you missed out on getting a banner, you might wanna check it out because they are offering it. Also, what's available on the website are the pins from this month. So they still have the Miko pins. They still have a plush available. I think I saw the journal and the mug. So um, I don't know if they made more or if maybe Pocahontas isn't getting the love, but there are they are available on the website on Shop Disney, so check it out. Um, next month on June 15th is Beauty and the Beast themed. Oh. It's Lumiere, oh my gosh. That one's going to be so much fun. And I know while these are still available, I'm not gonna miss out. I'll probably be still setting my alarm clock because on June 15th at 12 o'clock Pacific time, which is 2 a.m. here in the Central time, I'll be getting up to uh, try to get my pins for sure. Oh my gosh, so this was so much fun. But you know, before I leave, I have one more pin set to share with you. Where did it go? <laughs> Here it is. So it's another Shop Disney pin set. I got this special because of a special movie that was just being released and we just went and saw it, oh my gosh, on my birthday. It's the Aladdin set and it's a four pin set that they released on Shop Disney and I just, I had to have it. I knew we were going to see it. It was my birthday, you know, all those things. I just got it. <laughs> Let me, um, this is beautiful. Let me take it out of the packaging so I can show you these pins. First, let's just take a look at how beautiful they are on this backer card. Oh my gosh, so ornate. I love all the blues, of course, with the gold. So pretty and iconic. And the pins look like they're coming right out of Jeannie's lamp. Let me take them off and give you a close up of each pin. So this four pin set was released um, in conjunction with the release of the Aladdin live action remake film, which I loved. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, this is the Princess Jasmine pin. I love it, it's that it's her silhouette. That's really interesting. It says, free to dream. Always love that sentiment for sure. And uh, the blues with the peacock feathers are just beautiful. This next pin is just pretty. And it has that really uh, teal, light teal blue color that I love so much. It says, be heard which is very much a sentiment of that movie for sure. Let me show you the backs of these pins. They are, uh, they do say Disney on them. One pin post, they're gold based and they are limited release pins. Um, I love this pin. This just makes a nice uh, addition to a pin board. I'm certainly going to have an obsession with peacock feathers for a while here, that's for sure. Look at the coloring in this pin and all the feathering that they did. I think this is just stunning, just stunning and will make a great addition to an Aladdin board for sure. So pretty. But seriously, check out the Genie's Lamp. This pin is cool. It's a very brushed gold. It's not, you know, brassy looking or anything. I love this kind of a gold. And um, it's, the back of it's not flat. It's kind of rounded. It's really cool. It has one pin post. Um, it just looks like you could rub it. Genie, Genie. <laughs> Do you think he'll come out? Oh, I love this pin. This is really pretty. This pin set is beautiful and I'm so happy that I went ahead and ordered it. Now we went and saw Aladdin on Monday for my birthday and oh my gosh, I will say this right now and here's my review. It was fantastic. I loved it. It was colorful. It was 
big. Um, the music was beautiful. The music was fabulous. There was a couple of little new things, but mostly it stayed to the story. And you know, I thought they did a great job with this live action remake. I'm not a fan of a lot of the live action remakes and I absolutely loved this one. I found myself in the middle of the film just grinning from ear to ear and I don't always just do that when you're sitting there in a dark theater, find yourself just smiling, but I really enjoyed it and um, go see it. I think you'll like it for sure. Um, Will Smith did a fabulous job as Jeannie. Uh, I think he paid homage to Robin Williams and his thing, but I do believe that Will Smith took it on and, and made Jeannie his own. He was still a lovable character that we all know. Um, and he gave him an endearing quality, which I really loved. I really loved. I was very touched near the end there uh, with the relationship that he had with Aladdin, and I just, I just loved that. I thought the acting was superb. Just, I loved it. I just loved the film, so go see it. It's fabulous. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Anyway, um, so all of my monthly releases, that's what I have for this month. Um, but I do want to thank Karen for sending me this postcard. That was very sweet of you all the way from Singapore. Thank you so much. And for Nina for sending me this box of goodies. Uh, that was really just quite generous and sweet of you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate everything. I hope you all are having a magical day and I will see you. Oh wait, before I go, we have a little wonderland happening behind us. But when you come back again on Saturday, Things might be a little different, and they might be a little different with an addition of a little bit of this. <laughs> okay, hey, hey, we'll see you on Saturday. Bye-bye.